excited to introduce you to Philip and Rodney. They both have a neurodegenerative disease called ALS, it means they can't move their hands or speak clearly, but they can now text thanks to a brain computer interface or BCI. They will fill up brain signals up on the screen. They're connected to their computers via Bluetooth. The device is fully internalized, invisible to the outside world, and they learn to control the keyboard with clicks directly coming from their brain. Connection is a fundamental human need. So many of our patients have lost the ability to speak, let alone type, for years. And they so desperately want to reconnect with their family, with their loved ones. You know what the main request we get is? Text messaging. The blood vessels are the natural highways into the brain. These are hollow tubes that connect every corner of the brain. The largest vein at the top there is right next to the motor cortex, the exact part of the brain that we want to connect to to restore control to the outside world. So what we had to do was figure out a way to put a sensor connected to the cross links of the stent that could record that brain activity. But to do that, we had to do a complete overhaul of stent manufacturing. This is the end result. I think it's very beautiful. Then connect it to a cable which brings the information out of the brain and do it all in a way that it can be delivered in the cath lab. This way, we can make BCI accessible not to the thousands of people, but to the millions of people who need this technology. Once it's in place, it's connected to this tiny antenna that sits under the skin in the chest. This collects the raw brain data and sends it out of the body wirelessly to then connect with external devices. It's always on and ready to go. 